Dab, 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 dab. Wait. Dab again into the video. Just dab a hundred times. You see that? I don't think you see it. It's on my fridge. Just like open my fridge. I'm going to show you. See? It's something really cool on my fridge. Do you see it? Do you see it? It says something about something. It says something weird. I don't know what it says on my fridge. There's something there. Here, I'll show you the bottom side. Yeah, okay, that's how you can get to see. I'll make a video on something about that. It's actually going to be cool and I'll record it anyway. I'll go back outside to the chilly Arizona, Arizona weather. Uh, rest in, oh, and, yeah, chilly Arizona weather, it's kind of cloudy chilly, it's kind of the second day, of the kind of cloudy chilly, second day of the winter, where it was kind of cloudy, chilly, nice, cool, uh, fun wintertime experience, I guess, unlike the negative wintertime experience with the negative degrees. Anyway, nice out here. Let's put it that way. Dog likes it. Alright, dog. You didn't like it before, but I guess now you kind of like it. You okay, buddy? You can get all sad again? No? Okay. Anyway, rest in peace for my fun check. I uh, said rest in peace. Not like he died. Oh, why are you so sad? Why are you so sad, buddy? You want Mike Munchak too? Mm, yeah. You want Mike Munchak? Uh, let's see if I can get it now. You want Mike Munchak? Yeah. I know, I wanted him for a coach too. For the, yeah, I want him as Cardinals coach. Mm. Mm hmm. Yeah. This is turning into a dog thing, isn't it? Mm hmm. Yeah, you wanted Mike Munchak. You wanted Mike Munchak. Well, I like James Fetcher. Do you like James Fetcher? Mm-hmm. Like me if you like James Fetcher. Hey, dog. You want to lick me if you like James Fetcher? Hold on, let me get his attention. What's the... The sun's coming out. It's a beautiful day. Mm, oh. Yeah, he loves James Fetcher. Oh, the camera. Do you see yourself? Do you see yourself in the camera? Mm. Yeah, he loves James Fetcher, but he also loves me. James Fetcher, head coach for the Cardinals, 2019, totally. As the sun's coming out, and a nice winter morning, or a nice winter afternoon, rather, 1 o'clock, straight up 1 o'clock in the afternoon. James Fetcher seems to be the best head coaching candidate since Mike Munchak left. James Fetcher was highly regarded by Bruce Arians, and I think, by the way, Larry Fitzgerald... I bet will definitely stay if James Fetcher becomes on the coaching staff or a coach for uh, to take Bruce Arians' place. They also talk about Todd Bowles, possibly. They only had a little bit of talk about Todd Bowles, and I'm assuming he's in the search in the situation, and he might be in the situation. Honestly, that might be a surprise in the situation, honestly. I like, there's Todd Haley, you know. That might be, uh, he might be in the situation. Honestly, I bet what's going to happen is that all there's all this talk about a few other candidates, but I think there's going to be a surprise at the end, and all this talk about defense and making moves on the defense, and I think there's also going to be a surprise at the end. But maybe the surprise is that there's going to be a big move on the defense, and because since the three teams in the... The three teams looking to go. Three of the four teams looking to go to the Super Bowl are big, big defensive powerhouses, and that's why they got to the position that they're in, or at least uh, an exception for Blake Bortles. I think he actually made some plays on the play action that looked good, and I don't know why they under they overlook the quarterback there because I mean, come on now. 45, wasn't it, on the Patriots? Uh, not the Patriots. On the Steelers? Really? On oh, my mom's back. Oh, hey, there's this cop. I had a question for the cop. I don't know if I'm going to ask.
ask it or not. He might just sit right there like he does every once in a while. Or is he gonna go? Okay, he's going, I think. Uh, I wanna tell that later. Anyway. So, you wanna go in? You wanna go in, Pete Mom? Here. Hi, Mom. He wants to greet my mom at the door. So, actually, I probably have to. Alright, I get this done. I gotta get this done. I gotta probably eat lunch real quick anyway. So, well, I think I gotta cover that Cardinals news, right? Uh, really quick, I go on the D backs. Um, there's talk of inflation on JD Martinez's price. Um, we're hoping he can stay. I don't think so. Alright, out of the D back. Oh, yeah, uh, Recently, um, what's his face? The Mexican one. Something. What do they do? The left fielder. Left field. Whatever. Yeah. The Colonel speeding 105 miles per hour caught in the 101. That guy. His money to Moss. There you go. Now I feel bad for saying the Mexican one. There's multiple of them. On the D backs team. But anyway, yeah, yes, Monty Tomas caught Colonel Speeding 105 miles per hour on the 101. Good for him, I think. Not really. That sucks. That's terrible. Well, I don't know what's going to happen. It's not very bad. It's not like he was like junk or anything, but. Wow. Uh, what else? Yes. Uh, Sun Devils playing today, and I know they lost four in a row, but it's, it's it, honestly to me, it's not really that big of a deal because there's not no, no team undefeated, and uh, they're still in the top 25. And by the way, if they win, then they're gonna stay in the top 25 because how the top 25 goes is if you lose, they drop you down, but if you win, then people get confidence in you again, and if you look good, and I think Cal's a really good start to looking good and probably winning eight straight hopefully and get back on the right track again and I think I think this is a really good opportunity to start off and get off this slump that happens in time to time in sports and it happens even the Cavaliers to happen even though you could say oh the Cavaliers are bad and whatever I guess they are bad but at the same time, whatever, okay? And you don't look at a team and compare them to the best and say they're they're bad just because they have four losses and don't play enough games and haven't played enough games yet. And you can't look, just like you can't look at a movie and compare it to the best movie in the in that uh, genre and say, oh, it's terrible. And we expected something much better, and you suck. Like, come on. Okay. That's a whole different topic. Star Wars. Anyway. Um. So. Now to the real news. The Sun Devil news. Sun Devil basketball. Uh, they're getting out of the slump, okay? It's a slump. It's not a big deal. And if you're watching this and you think it's a big deal, it's not a big deal because they're going to get out of it and they're going to start winning. And it's going to start now because this Cal team's bad and they're going to renew their confidence and they're going to play like they've been playing in the first 12 games. And I think Trey Holder is going to finally score a few more points. In fact, at least 20 points. I look for them to beat this team by a lot and it's really going to help the confidence. And yeah. And if they lose, then their season may be over. Uh, that also would definitely not help the confidence. But at the same time, at least it does not jack up trigger ticket prices for the next few games. Of course, whatever happens, the fan base better be ready to huddle together and support these guys. Because I know they can bounce back anyway. They're too good not to, you know what I mean? They're too good that when they start clicking again on the offense, and they start, click, and they start 
playing more intense on defense, like they were, then it's gonna they're unstoppable. Okay, like the team that was playing the first twelve games, they were unstoppable. They they could not. It was not. They, there was no fathom. New word, no fathom in stopping. Uh, that ASU team in the first twelve games. I mean, I mean, honestly, they could play some NBA. T it, it seemed like they could play some NBA team and win. Like it seemed like they could play anyone and win. Like they just seemed completely, you know, completely unhinged. Is that a word? Is that a good word to use? I don't even know. But it seemed. It's too good. It just feels like they're too good. Not. It feels like they're too good to collapse and lose it all and only get up to 500. Like they almost already have half the wins that you need and uh, the whole season. I think. Right. Like that are pretty close to being there. I don't know how how many games are in a season. I think it's like. Uh, is it? 30 something, right? 32 maybe? I think, you know, you need, let's just say, put it like this. There's a few teams, there's a few teams that are past the threshold, that they lose the rest, that they're at 500, are going to be past the threshold. And I think after this, after this next, uh, this next few games, Arizona State will be, and you think they're not going to be, and you probably have a reason to, yes, but watch it happen, and or else people would invest money in buying tickets to go see the home games, and that's pretty much it. The team revitalized, and even next year, there's like three guys, including including Jalen House. Uh, which is supposed to be really, really, really good. Jalen House is supposed to be really, really, really good. They're committing already to ASU, and we haven't even recruited anyone yet. So that's the bottom line. Um, yeah. Can't wait to see how the year unfolds. People are still saying that they could be at least an 8 seed anyway, so. I, I really have no worries. Like, they're just too good. It was like the Diamondbacks going into, like, it happened to the Diamondbacks. They went to the, like I know, baseball or basketball, and it's kind of hard to compare. But they went to, the, into the, the, the break, the week break, the All Star break, and the, you know, first half of the year, and they lost like nine out of the last ten. I think they lost like twelve or something. You know, not like back to back to back, but it was bad stretch. And it kind of, kind of continued, but then they lit it up again, and that's exactly what's going to happen to some of those teams. You watch, it happens all the time in sports, okay? If it doesn't happen, okay, then somebody's getting money. Just put it that way. The end. Dab out of the video. Should I dab out of the video? I don't even know. I'm not going to dab out of the video. Ooh. I'm not going to dab out of the video, because that means it sounds like it's cool, okay? You know?